Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today I got a little bit of a mystery for you and for me. Uh, so it's clear right, right here, I've got this Super Saiyan 3 Goku figure of some sort, and this is from Banpresto, but I really have no clear idea what this actually is as far as what the feel is and how it looks in person or anything, because this is one of those uh, soft vinyl type of figures from Banpresto, and I looked online, I've been trying to find information about what exactly are the, I mean, are they similar to some of the PVC statues that Banpresto has, or are they like Funko Pops? What are they like? I haven't been able to find anything, but this was cheap enough on Amazon for about $20. I thought, why not just take a chance on it? Because it seems like it's pretty tall, and you know, I do like um, tall figures and stuff. Uh, but as I flipped it over here on the back, you see we do have Goku right here, and then we also have Broly, so there was also a Broly one. I'm not too sure how easy that one is to find or not, but um, this looks like it's probably been sitting around in the warehouse for a while or something because this box is pretty, uh, it's pretty beat up, but I am very curious about this. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love trying out new Dragon Ball Z products, especially ones that are um, made from companies like Banpresto that I know and trust and um, also figures that look like they could be kind of cool. I don't know. So I'm going to open up this box and we're going to see exactly what this thing is like and whether I have wasted my money. I don't know. So let's take a look. All right, so I got this guy out of the box. So let's talk a little bit more about him. So now I have a much better understanding of what this soft vinyl type of a figure is. And uh, one of the first things I can tell you is that it's, it's very hollow. Well, actually it's completely hollow. It comes in two parts. You got the upper part and then you have the lower part where the legs are and they basically just plug into each other. Kind of like how some of the uh, other Banpresto um, PVC statues are, except they don't have like the, the part on the inside that is a special shape that goes into another special shape. I mean, this is like completely circular and hollow. So you literally just stick it you know, one on top of the other. And, um, you know, the quality of this figure is, um, well, it's indicative of its hollow nature. All right, so if we can just look around it right now, I can tell you that the detail that is on it is pretty decent detail, but it lacks the refinement that at least I'm used to with the PVC figures. I guess you can't really expect too much out of this guy considering that, you know, it's a very light, very, very hollow uh, piece of plastic. And um, the colors on him are very muted. I feel like the orange, um, I would like for it to be more saturated and a little more orange. I would have liked for the hair to be a little bit more blonde. It's, it's strange. It's like the detail is kind of there because you got the wrinkles in the clothes and you have the musculature. You have that. But it's missing just a little bit. There's missing something. I don't know if it's shadowing. It's missing something that would have taken this very lightweight, this very cheap figure and made it better. You know, it's, it's muted. There's something about it that's very muted. And that's like really the best word that I can think about, that I can think of right now. Um, but from what they did do, like I said, I mean, the paint is good. It's just muted. The detail is there. It just needs refinement. It's in, it's kind of hard to explain. It doesn't smell too good either. Um, but there's a little bit of articulation with this guy, which is something that you can't get with uh, statues. You can move his arms up and down. And as you can see, he has his arms spread apart. Uh, so his Kamehameha pose, so you can bring those two together. And if you want, you can make it a little bit lower like that. Or if you want, you can bring it up super high. You can't rotate the wrists or anything, but you can do that with his arms. They just move up and down. So, you know, they're not going to move outwards or anything like that. There's no elbow bends, nothing like that. Very, very simple articulation. His head or his waist rather can move. So you can kind of like, hey, you want to go to the left or you want to go to the right? That's pretty neat. I think his head moves a little bit, but not that much to really make a difference in anything. And uh, 
He is standing up on his own, but that is only because he has rotation at his boot. So if I wanted his feet to be facing forward, as you can see, he's falling backwards because there's no support there. There's no support when you stand him up like that. So I have to take his right leg and just move it out like that so that he has um, a flatter surface to stand on because all this hair is moving him backwards. Uh, so it's kind of a unnatural type of posing for the foot for a human, but that is a way to get him to stand up so he doesn't need to stand or anything and he doesn't have holes on the bottom of his feet. So you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, guys, I mean, looking at this guy, I mean, looking really, really close, I mean, they did a good job with his face and everything. There's some very strange, slight textures of paint that I can kind of see in his face. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, the lines are good. The lines are really good. I don't see any runoff or anything like that, but there's just something about it that's like, it's something there that's not, there's something that's missing right there. You know, the, the detail, I feel like it's there. It's just missing that little tiny something. But for this first experience with this type of Dragon Ball Z soft vinyl figure, it's not bad. It's just for a similar price, uh, I would prefer something like their PVC line, either the Master Stars or some of the DX uh, series of characters, dramatic showcase, you know, just something along those lines because there's more detail in that. While this soft vinyl, you know, it is kind of squishy if you press hard enough. While this is pretty neat and I do like the fact that you can uh, move the arms up and down and stuff like that. If you put it next to something on the shelf, you know, it'll be nice to put on your desk. That's pretty cool. Uh, so it's definitely not considered, I wouldn't consider this to be like a waste of money for anyone who buys it. But if you are thinking of getting something like this, just know that if you also have the statues, at least this particular figure, it's not going to hold up to the pedigree that those statues have established for themselves. This definitely looks like um, a couple extra, a couple steps were not taken in the refinement process to get this out as compared to those statues. Statues look like a little bit more TLC went into them, and that is my opinion on this little vinyl figure. I don't see too many of these on Amazon. I haven't seen Broly. I know that they make some other ones, but you know I haven't seen them as being um, like available for prime shipping. I'm sure that someone is selling them on there, but I haven't been able to uh, really find too many more like these. I mean, they probably have like a Gogeta or something, which I would love to have a Gogeta figure. I just don't see them all that often. But anyway, I'm rambling at this point. That's my opinion on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And uh, yeah, there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, oh, really quickly, uh, just for a little size comparison, here's that Dragon Ball Z uh, Shinron that I showed earlier in another video. And like I said, this one is standing kind of like around the five inches tall mark and here's the undertaker again so as you can see that's how tall the undertaker is and wide as compared to goku as compared to the shinron uh, statue so that gives you an idea of how big this guy is you know he is a pretty decent size he's bigger than those dx size ones uh but definitely not as tall um well, not as tall as many master star statues you know but that's only because he's He's, his legs are bent, but if he were standing up, he would be getting closer to like some of the Goku Master Star statues. So anyway, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy. I will talk to you later.